Well, hello, and welcome back to Tropico 6 here on Buta Place Whatever. In a previous episode, I was voted on out. And let me tell, let me tell, let me tell you guys something right now. I was very, very upset about being voted on out. Very, very upset. In fact, I almost decided to take a short break from Tropico 6. I was so upset about being voted on out. That was cool. I never noticed that that rocket exploded off in space. Um, I was going to take a short, short little break from it. Uh, then there's a new game that did get released and I was going to start into the lineup and I was going to wait until Jurassic World Evolution ended which is it's a, in, in the next like two weeks uh, I'm down to like basically the last two islands and I'm almost done with it and then I was going to bring it on back but I thought to myself I thought to myself self the Presidente hang up his glasses and put down his cigar just because the people kicked him on out and I'm like no no he was stirring up the people that voted him out of out office and he would, he would execute them. That's what Presidente would do. Or he'd force them into labor camps. Something along those lines. That's what Presidente would do. So I'm like, no, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta seek revenge. And you know, it's a learning, it's a learning thing. Like if I was playing this from my own personal, I would have restarted that map in a heartbeat and got my economy on track. Like that, it's one of the things about this game I always, you know, that I'm relearning and that I should have, you know, I should have really picked up on like the first our first map encounter was really nice. You get these mandates, like extend your time period. You don't have to worry about being voted on out. The second one's like, no, people are going to vote on your actions. You need to get this game rolling. And I didn't. I didn't because it's like I couldn't accomplish anything because I had no money. No money. Economy is key in this game. And I should have I should have relied on this. But, you know, on the bright side, you know, gotta look on the bright side every once in a while. Uh, there was an update to the beta, which could have possibly corrupted the files that I was playing anyway. And it was a pretty decent sized update. It took a while for it to actually do anything. Uh, so what we're going to do, let's hit on the new game. Um, let's hit on the not to sandbox. We might possibly do that after this last mission. Oh, they added another mission. Oh, and that's... Oh, well, that's fantastic. Because I was really leery about playing this one right here. Because, what is it? This is in... Yeah, that's Disasters. So, custom rules. Criminals and Swiss Bank. Mission focuses. Criminals and Swiss Bank. Well, that's great. That just works out perfect. So, that's what the update was. I was like, man, dude, this is a big update. It took a little bit for my CP to process it. I'm like, dude, what is going on here? Nice. So, they gave me something. I was, I was going to jump on into this. Shackland, you know, because it brings about um, the new era, which I'm, I'm assuming this is the, the Cold Wars. And instead of the modern era. So, Speakeasy. Speakeasy tells the thrilling crime story of smuggling rum from the, for the broker during the times of Prohibition and dealing with their massive criminals while the Allies and El Presidente to set up a system of crime and punishment and catch the public enemy M number one, the Kingpin. Huh. Sounds cool. I like this. Now, I did speak briefly about si switching this down to easy, but I'm not. I'm not. Play this on normal. It's the way you do it. All right. I'm not back. I'm not backing down. I'm not back. I'm not backing down from a challenge, man. I just gotta get my head in gear. Get my head in gear. Let's freaking do this. Start this mission. Let's check this on out. That's nice. That actually works out rather well. <laughs> I was like, man, I really don't want to play that last little playthrough. It doesn't seem that interesting. It's like shacks and na 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 na, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. I don't know. It doesn't. It didn't really appeal to me. But this works out perfectly great. So, do you remember, Presidente, that time between world wars when the Allies nearly declared war on us? How we laughed! Smuggling rum for a master criminal was no more than a hobby, really. For even the most masterful of master criminals is small fry to you. But bad luck knows no etiquette. And we soon discovered that he was number one on the Allies' wanted list. So began our crash course in crime and punishment. Mm. Nice. Huge one island shebang, man. Presidente, my oh. client, a successful and exceedingly legitimate businessman, I believe this. wants us to be friends. A journey of friendship starts small, but ends with us sitting together on a huge pile of money. Staring into the sunset, we can hold hands. Your choice. 
and there's zero risk. I already have paper that proves how legitimate and success successful this deal turns out to be. Trust me, I'd never lied to a friend. <laughs> oh, my friend. Precious, Presidente. Especially your time as you are the busy leader of a nation and not just a child playing in a sandbox. <laughs> As your ever subservient assistant, I took the freedom to prepare a humble draft of the Tropican Constitution to save some of your precious time. You still need to sign it, though. Maybe between the second breakfast and your pre-brunch nap. No pressure. No pressure. So, all citizens have the right to vote. Mm, our militia forces. We are not into the Cold Wars. We are not into the modern times yet. We haven't. The Cold Wars, I think, is unlocked on that other one. Uh, but we're just not there. It requires research, religion, state, labor policies, immigration, blah, 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 blah. We'll confirm these changes. They're effective until February 1923. So the same same deal as before. So cool beans indeed. So let's do this. Let's pause. Let's take a look what we got on here. Trade. So what do we have? What do we got? What do we got here, man? We have a huge island. And what are we producing right now? We're producing sugar. We're not producing food. I imagine there's some sort of food. Where is my dock at? We have a guard tower. Where is where is my dock at? Is it on the other side? Oh, okay. So what's the dock containing? Anything that I should know about? Not the, nothing I know about. So we got some huts. A logging camp. So we have lumber. Okay. And a lumber mill. Not too bad. Is this a power plant? No, it's a chapel. That works. And a parking deck. All right, and these are all little country houses. Country houses, Teamster's office, and this right here. Very nice, very nice. So we got an open dock on the opposite side, away from El President. They got to keep all the uh, all the dangerous pollutants on and over there. We got a church over here, a library, a bed, a theater. Okay, a construction office. Always need one of those. A rum and a rum distillery right off the bat, and the Teamster's office. Not too shabby indeed. So. We got sugar. We have. I thought I said a rum. We have a rum. We have. We have rum. Yeah, we have a rum distillery. All right, I can dig this, man. So let's go ahead. Let's get. Let's get trade going right now. So export. Um, we don't have any of these things. Canned goods? No. Nope. We can export sugar. Um. So let's do that. Let's export some sugar. Get that going right now. Um. And as far as politics are concerned. Ooh, our allies' relations and access relations are are horrible. Um, they call the me the broker. I guess I had enough. Yes, I understand what you're about, brother. So illegal. stimulate trade. Well, nothing that can be proven to break it's any laws. Communist standing image campaign mansions, mansion blueprints for two fifty. It's not bad. So I don't have any money in my Swiss bank account just yet. But, 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 but. Is there anything producing actual food? We have a goat ranch. So they're getting meat from a goat ranch. How much money do I have? $74,000. I have 134 people. Let's just get into this, man. Let's start doing it. Economy. No messing around. Economy. Economy. Econ econ economy. But we need sugar. For money. For economy. The economy. Wow, this place is a sugar haven, man. Look at all this... Delicious sugar that we can build. My God, the amount of sugar, the amount of rum. God, it's going to be fantastic. Um, I'm not getting maximum potential right there. Right there is maximum potential. So give me a, one sugar. Give me two sugars. And then let's kind of take a look at what else is available here. So corn, a little bit. Um, actually, corn fields over there. How about pineapples? And a little bit over here, not too bad. Cocoa. Cocoa's always good. Cocoa plant on over here. Tobacco. Not so much. This is a. There's a little bit spots here. Coffee. Mmm, it's pretty good for coffee. Cotton. Uh, not so good. Rubber? Yeah, somewhat decent, so we can kind of do that. Mmm. 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 Sugar, though. Back to back to the sugar. Mama's mama's money maker right there, baby. Sugar plantations. Sugar plantations. One, two, three. And then 
that will get that going and then let us start up a ranch um terrain is too uneven so cattle is not that great sheep crocodile ranch I like the idea of a crocodile ranch that seems like leather and stuff right the spot is already taken efficiency 92% I mean it would make sense right right next to the bayou the pig plantation now if I hold on here a second now it was saying fiber fiber really increases efficiency of nearby plantations and hydroponic plantation green waste copper decreases the upkeep from nearby ranches and factories okay I'm not gonna do a quick build I should but modernize all modern times modern times okay the upkeep of nearby ranches and factories by negative three dollars mmm that seems pretty proficient but we need food food and just how about coconuts can we harvest coconuts here we can Lots of coconut going on over here. Hmm. Hmm. The questions. What to build? What to build? I think a ranch would be in order. Um. And I like the idea of a crocodile ranch. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. That sounds all awesome. Okay. I haven't done one. Let's do it. Let's go ahead. Crocodile ranch. Crocodile meat. Let's get it going here. Get this. Get this going. Get this money. Get this money happening, man. And a low rebel threat. Okay. So, this and that and the other thing, uh, money, 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 money. That's all I care about. Let's get another plantation. Um, let's start to bring in some other forms of food, I guess is the proper way of saying it. Uh, what, what, bananas? I mean, some bananas weren't that great. Pineapple. But money-wise, it's like cocoa, man. We can make a pretty good killing of cocoa tobacco is always a great thing but this doesn't really seem to be tobacco ridden mm, coffee is also another really high quality thing I mean it's the plantation plantation nation we looks like I can squeeze in two ish on over here possibly and then well you know I could squeeze in some more if I just flip it on over here it's like right there is Pretty darn too nice, man. Okay, then let's go ahead and just create a road. And we'll just have it come straight up over here. Do, 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 do. Now we go right to there, and then just straight on over into that. Perfect. Very nice. Research. So labor policy allows you to change the age of the tropic and citizens are required to work when they are able to retire. Allows you to change the role of religion in the tropical society and government. You know, I haven't even messed with this. Audience triggers one demand from each of three factions with the lowest standing values. The edicts has cooldown of 12 months. Bells to bullets. Building permits. Increasing construction costs while building by 20%. 10% of the base construction costs transfer to the Swiss bank account. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Radio station. Police station work modes, newspaper work modes, clinic work modes. Mm. Doesn't seem all that great. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad. Let's, let's kind of place that into action right now. Get this place Rocket up and running, man. Military action warn that it can happen here. So remember to donate your unwanted bullets to keep our brave soldiers firing. Okay, that sounds alright. <laughs> alright, so sugar is on the way. <clears throat> Which is going to be great. Sugar, some crocodile, and a little bit of coffee, baby. To you, I wonder if you could help me with a little problem. Oh, no, nothing like that. Master Don't Criminal's big enchilada. His name is Big Enchilada. He's hiding out in one of your islands. He was a thorn in our side in the last war. We've been able to lock him up. If any of you can operate, appreciate some of this village. So we get a blueprint for a police station if we have a watchtower. Okay. So, on one of our islands. Well, there's only one other island, man. I'm assuming he's over here. And if he's going to hit our imports and exports, that's going to be a problem. So I imagine that's under military, right? Military raids. So a watchtower. We have to have three watchtowers. 
So we got some cash. Let's go ahead and unlock the blueprint. Let's build a couple of these bad boys. Just ever so close. Um, just one right there. Sugar is on the way. Let's get another one over here. I mean, they're only 600 bucks, so they're not that bad. Get one on this back end. I mean, is there a specified place I have to put this? No, it doesn't look like it. And so monoculture, multiculture, decreases efficiency by 60. The plantation does not decrease the fertility over time. Plantation gets 20% efficiency for, for other plantations in the vicinity with a different crop running on the same work mode. 20% efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with a different running crop mode. So if I had basically another different thing on there, I'd have to have three other ones in the vicinity. Does My client sense? has a strong interest in rum, Presidente. Have a rum distillery. We have one of two. We're building guard towers. We're making sugar. These things are happening. We have crocodiles. They're producing leather. We're going to produce more coffee. These are the things that I need. That and just straight sh sugar. So we have one rum distillery. General export blend. Supply local demand. The output is, output is decreased by 20%. The efficiency of each tavern and cocktail bar is increased by 10% on a medium budget. Bonus can be accumulated up to a cap of 30%. Not bad. So another additional rum distillery. So we can do this because it's going to provide me money. Money. So. Whew, whew. Second rum distillery is very expensive. I would rather have it closer to the port that way it's getting immediately exported right over here so let's go ahead and do that money that's all I want is money very nice okay so sugar being exported speaking of which let's get into the trades let's go ahead and buy a trade license right now get the second one going on in here and then let's see what it is that I can export um, bananas sugar I'm already exporting um, process now we did have yeah, nothing over there coal canned goods cheese cigars weapons cigars and boats so tobacco could be a pretty big boost to the economy here which would be nice. I'm surprised I don't get crocodile meat out of this. So I'm not really getting any food for the for everybody. So we should I don't know. A fisherman's wharf. How much is that? It's twelve hundred bucks. Is there a place close by that this is a profitable thing? Right there. That's actually pretty close. We can do that. I mean, it's kind of touching, right? Is there another place even closer? Oh my god, there's a huge, huge one right there. I'd have to create kind of a, a backwards road to it though. I'm a little, a little off put by that. A little off put. So let's kind of take a look at what else we got over here. So I think more ranches would be efficient. Um, sheep would produce cotton, which would be rather nice. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of good sheep ranging places though. Um, Pigs would be horrible here. Llamas and goats. I mean, they already have a goat ranch over here. A secondary one wouldn't be too bad. And I heard that I get a positive effect by having it. So let's go ahead and build a goat ranch on right, right next to over here. Get meat for the people. Get these people in a good standing. Homeless is 39%. That's fine. That is fine. U-boats versus submarines. Canal Uno investigates the underwater menace. Later, Atlantis fish people, the real underwater menace. Damn Atlanteans. Always up to no good, I tell you what. It's like, if you guys don't follow comics, I just recently got back into comics. Uh, you too, using its infinite knowledge, it's just like, hey, you know what you might be interested in? I'm like, no, I don't, YouTube. Why don't you tell me? And it's like, this guy that explains comics. 
And I'm like, okay. And in fact, it's called, I think, Comics Explained. The guy is, is really, he does such a good job explaining things. I used to read a lot of comics as a kid, um, and they're great. And I loved it. And this guy started explaining how, oh, look at all that money. How comics are really starting to make a comeback, especially over the last couple years. Um, and it's really, really, it's really, really nice. Um, I really don't have the meat for that. I could just export sugar. I think I'm already doing this, yeah. And nothing, nobody wants my, my planks. Nobody wants rum either. That's kind of weird. You'd figure a, a rum trade would definitely be in the works over here. I mean, they'll be under process, right? Consumer goods, yeah, nobody wants rum. What the hell? People should want rum. They should want all the rum that I have. Okay. Especially with the coffee. Especially with that coffee. But let's set up another plantation. We're going to go for tobacco. There's not a whole lot of tobacco love. At least on this side that I can see. Except for like right here, man. I mean. It's, ske it's sketchy at best. Right there. Over here is not too bad, and that could lead off to the coast. I mean, I could probably fit in two tobacco plantations over there, and then that could lead me off to the wharf. Right here is a plethora of good, happy tobacco farming. Maybe a little bit easier to extend that road coming on over here to some sweet, sweet tobacco love. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, money. That's it. That's my key goal right now is dinero. We need it. Tobacco. Tobacco, man. Get this tobacco leaf. Imported. Exported. Whatever. Tropico will be great. <laughs> Again. Uh, okay, so let's get this road kind of away there. I want to see if I could possibly squeeze in something else. Um, Let's just kind of do a weird wonky road kind of like this and then we'll split it straight down very nice and then right there and then to right there and then we'll connect and then we'll connect very nice <clears throat> get this going we'll probably have to make a another um, what is it? What are those guys called? Um, office. Boom. One complete. And out of this we get... We get what? Did I not get my... My watchtower? I mean, there's one. There's two. Didn't I set up three? Maybe I didn't set up three watchtowers. Good news, Presidente. Have a pirate cove. Fulfill export trade with a uh, route with smugglers for rum. Okay, so pirate cove. That seems efficient. And it seems like I get money out of this. What do you got over here? So stimulate trade route. So he gave me money just straight for, for taking that task. I like this idea. Um, acquire blueprint unlocks mansion leather costs 500 bucks. Image campaign boosts your support by increasing the personal experience of all tropicans. Trains a new trade route offer. Mm, not quite yet. Exports, Prez. Who doesn't love exports? Goods leaving port, money coming back. Met under a bridge last night. Am I right? Export weapons. We'll accept this. I mean, I might abandon it later on, but uh, for right now, that seems profitable if I can get to that point. Which I should too, relatively quick, um, considering all this major manufacturing. But we need your judgment is always impeccable, President. Decrease the unemployment but rate to seven percent. A tiny suggestion. Okay, seven percent, man. Well, I mean that shouldn't be. What is it at right now? What's my almanac say? What's is unemployment underneath here? Sixteen. 
there's a ton of vacant jobs. So high school and college. So they would need a higher profession. Is the way it's kind of looking here. Would any of these be of interest to you? It's all strictly above board, of course. I like this labor policy. But I'm not down with it just yet. Um, but I want to get this last watchtower. I mean, it's only 600 bucks. So I have one over here. I have one over here. I swore I put up three. Maybe I am mistaken. Let's get the third one. Right here. On the rocks? No. Right here on the very... No? No, just double double watchtowers. I gotta watch this island. I don't... I don't believe it to be of a good standing. Or we could just put it kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Like right over here. This is gonna be like unused space. So like right here. One right there. Just kind of right there in the middle of nowhere. Just a watch. Make sure everybody's doing their jobs correctly. Um, exportation. So is any new trade routes available? Okay, we're exporting that sugar. Mm, nothing really over there. Planks. Man, I would love to do that. Import gold. Import rum. Import cigars. And stuff. That's what I want to kind of get into. Is a cigar factory. Really get the that money going. Now, do I have power? Everyone has to do their bit for the war effort, old sports. I don't care a thruppenny bit who you might be. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Ag Allies trade route. That's not too not too shabby. Now, how how is my homeless? My homeless is pretty bad. So, that's another thing I wanted to kind of get going correctly is making sure that my residential was good. Now, how much is the apartments? Must be well off or better. I got a lot of poor people here, man. I got a lot of poor people. It's like, I'm sorry. They're poor, man. The poor people work at my pl plantations. So I need these, these bunk houses, man. Now, if it says a whole can shift for multiple construction. Okay. So give me one, two, three. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Get that watchtower. Get the sugar going. Get it, just get it, get it going, man. I'm gonna destroy these shanties here soon, I tell you. For all my poor people. And exportation of weapons, unemployment rate 7%. Ooh, there's enough jobs, man. This shouldn't be an issue. Humane exploit. Ranch does not decrease the fertility and its vicinity decreases the efficiency by 15%. Let's just do that. I don't want to feast. We'll get a little bit less goat meat, but people will at least be allowed to do. So we get milk out of the goats. Hmm. Milk from the goats. Interesting. Presidente, I am inspired. I have solved the problem of capitalism. That's fine. Well, Penultimo is speechless. Only the political majesty of his beloved huh, president. We've done this task. Unbelievable. So an extra Teamster's office, which seems fine, uh, because that'll help with my exports. Now, is there a Teamster's office over here? There's one over here. And I got a chapel, and I got a parking deck. I really don't even know how they're doing that. That seems rather insane. How's this place not getting sugar? And that's why the Teamster's office is kind of important. So industry. Isn't that under industry? How much is a cigar factory? Oh, it's so much. So much money for that cigar factory. Oh, God, man. Um, do, 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 do. Food and resources? That's not our food and resources, is it? Traffic and infrastructure. Okay, so we need a Teamster's office, a Teamster's port. Is not necessary. How much is a power plant? It seems okay. All right. So Teamsters office. Let's get one. I would like to place it more or less in the heart of this, so it can get to these offices a little bit quicker. And we'll put it in a place that really can't do much. So right here seems good. It has place been right there. That our beloved military mascot. Capitan Tropico will be appearing at the Tropico Service Organization Gala. Morale, ahoy! Okay. 
That seems nice. We got our own personal mascot. That's great. So I love to do that, man. But it's like, I really don't know how well that's going to work. So we got coffee. Coffee being exported. What is my dock saying? Now, is there a way to decrease efficiency? Not really. Man, that's a lot of deficiency with the crime dogs. Hmm. Tough call right there. But we need to get more rum. We need to get all these things up and running a little bit quicker. We almost got the watchtower. Almost got the Teamsters offices in route. Create an allies trade route. Doesn't seem too bad. I mean, we're exporting sugar, which is going to hit the allies. So, I mean, that's that seems fine. Does anybody want anything else just yet? We'll go tobacco. We can do tobacco. I have tobacco now being done. Let's do it, man. Give me this tobacco. We create tobacco for trade wrap purposes. And we're, by God damn, we're going to freaking do it. Get all these Teamsters really up and running. Now, if I increase... Their efficiency is 100%. By 50% each Teamster might lose up to 5% of its freight. Oh man. I mean they would really... That trade-off seems almost good to me. Because the amount they'd be able to export... Would be... Oh, no. Do I have... I don't have a fire department yet, do I? No, I don't. So, let's... Ugh. Can't believe I'm getting this already. I need to end the episode. Is that under... What is that under? Uh, blah, 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 No. 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 I was figured to be... It has to be under infrastructure. No? Public services? Yeah. Oh, you're so expensive, man. <sighs> Unlock this blueprint. Build this. Oh man, where do I even place this on at? Right next to El Presidente's house. No, you know what? Right here. It's kind of an unused spot, so let's go ahead and do that. How much for a fast, quick build? Uh, it's gonna cost me a bit of money, but that's fine. Quick build. Boom. All right. Cool beans. Get this fire station. Get this fire on out. Because I have a lot of important stuff doing here. But that's as much time as I got for today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed today's, ep enjoyed today's episode. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Comment on down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. When we come on back, we will keep this massive production and infrastructure rolling. I will not fail this time. I, sw I, swear, I swear this, man. I'm just not going to put up with it. It's just not going to happen. Mistakes were made in the past. Presidente swears. He swears that he will no longer allow this sort of action to happen in the future. More Teamsters. I need them all. Give me all the Teamsters. I might have to build, I'm probably going to build multiple Teamsters office just to comprehend the amazing amount of exports that we're going to have to do. I mean, we have, we got the trades, we got stuff being set on up, baby. Stuff is going to happen. All right, we're going to make some money. And that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to freaking be. All right, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's, it's, it's going to happen. Do I have people working here? Okay, yeah. It's a quality job, too. So they need a high school. Okay, cool beans. But yeah, that's all the time I got for today. So until next time, everybody, you take it easy. And I'll see you around. Peace.